Hi guys, I'm Johnny and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a chicken pot pie with biscuits. This is so delicious, very easy to make, and you will love it. So let's get started. So guys, in a big pot, what I have here is some olive oil, and I let it come to temperature. It is, it is an over, over medium high heat. I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken thigh that I cut into one inch piece. I'm using boneless and skinless chicken thigh. And I'm gonna cook that there. I'm gonna season it with some adobo, which is like um, Latin all pepper seasoning. If you don't have that, you can always use salt and pepper, but this is usually like an instant chicken boil and powder. But if you don't have it, uh, don't use salt and pepper, you'll be good. I'm gonna cook that there for five to seven minutes, stirring constantly, occasionally, until it is no longer brown. After that, I'm going to go ahead and, and on my vegetables, I am using, well, not that I'm using, it, it requires some onion, some, some, I can't even speak. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna be using some carrots, some celery that I cut into small pieces. I dice them really finely. I'm gonna chop that, I'm gonna cook that there for five to seven minutes. After that, I'm going to go ahead and add some butter and I will allow the butter to melt. Once the butter has melted, I'm going to go ahead and stir in some all-purpose flour and I'm going to cook that there, stay occasionally for one minute to get rid of the floury taste. After one minute, I'm going to go ahead and add some low-sodium chicken broth and I'm going to add some dried parsley and dried thyme. Give it a mix and I'm going to let that cook there over medium heat or for five minutes. After five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add my my piece that these are frozen pieces that I defroster at room temperature outside in the counter. I'm just going to add those in there along with some heavy cream, give it a mix, cook it for 10 minutes over medium heat. After that, if you have to add some salt and pepper, this is the perfect time to do it. Make sure you taste it first because if you're using the adobo seasoning, you already have salt and it can salt your food. So always taste your food before you salt it. And after that, just transfer it into your baking dish. I am using a nine inch uh, baking pie, like a pie dish. I'm gonna add my, my mixture in there. And then my, my pie, I'm gonna place it on a baking sheet that I placed with some aluminum foil. So if anything's gonna spill out, it doesn't dirty my baking sheet and I don't have to be washing it later on because I hate washing dishes. That's not, that's not one of my virtues. And after that, just, just going to top it with some buttermilk biscuit. I am using a store-bought biscuit. If you cannot find your uh, store-bought biscuits, you can always use your favorite recipe. I also have a recipe here on my channel. I will list it in the description box just in case you're interested in making buttermilk biscuits. Bis biscuits. Okay, I don't, even, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Food. So just top it, just cover your pan with the biscuits and you're gonna Top it with some black pepper. You're gonna place this in the oven at a 350 degree Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes until the biscuits are nice and golden. Mine took 22 minutes to cook and I'm going to let it sit in the counter for 10 minutes before digging in. And after that, it is ready to be served. That is it. This is so good. Like, I love this so much because it is this comfort food. This is my kind of food. This is what I want. This is what I want to eat every day. I mean, not every day because this is so fattening, but after you eat this, you might want to buy some new pants. I don't know. I'm trying to not... It looks like I'm not encouraging you to make this, but this is not something you want to do every day because it's too, too fattening, but whatever. That's good. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.